Well, welcome back to the channel and to another new episode of 2K22's Things You Might Not Know. This one is episode 13, but as always, if there are any you might have missed, check out the series playlist link on the screen. And here we go again, more secrets, easter eggs, hidden features and awesome details. This is 10 more things you might not know about WWE 2K22. So previously in the series we checked out a unique Minitron that featured in specific arenas and today we have got another, this time for Walter. So when Walter is featured in most arenas you'll see his video setup look like this. But what you might not know is that when Walter is featured in the NXT UK arena you'll instead get to see this awesome design. Sticking with Imperium, we must now turn our attention to Alexander Wolfe. So despite Wolfe being a smaller name on this year's roster, he does feature his own special commentary. So at times when Wolfe is featured in Raw arenas, you'll get this audio which is specific to Wolfe appearing on Raw. This is going to be interesting. The arrival on Raw of Alexander Wolfe. The mood and feel as we know it is about to change here on Raw. This guy's had some battles with many WWE competitors before they actually came to this big stage. People like Drew Gulak and Oni Lorcan. Yeah, once you get past the, uh, the aura of intimidation that Alexander will pass, he is an extremely accomplished competitor inside the ring. Another thing that you might not know about is the mobile game Raid Shadow Legends and big thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's episode. If you're a fan of this kind of game then chances are the Doom Tower is definitely the thing for you. Collect your champions, build your army and attempt to climb it level by level. The higher you get the tougher it becomes and the more bosses you will encounter. This month, Raid are featuring special events every day, including an entirely new event for the Summer Solstice. It is called the Path of Light, in which you'll be able to explore three branching paths to get the rewards that you want the most. There is also brand new champions coming out, and a set of skins for the Trunda Gilmanet, which all look awesome. Better yet, Raid is currently running a special Deliana Chase event where you can get your hands on this legendary champion Deliana which you can get for simply logging in and playing Raid for 7 days between now and July the 20th. If you haven't played Raid yet, then this might be the best time to try it. Using my QR code on screen or by using my link in the description, you can get your hands on all these unique bonuses for absolutely free. This includes this epic champion Virgis, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard so you can summon your awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All these rewards will be waiting for you here and it is easy as that. But if that wasn't enough then new players can get even more free rewards by using the promo code MikeDeliana to get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to a max level 50 plus a bunch of silver as well. Once again a big thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Now the Shield are of course no strangers to the WWE 2K game series, with their own three man entrance still featured in 2K22. But what you might not know is that their entrance video can also still be featured. This can be attained via modded creations, specifically these three, which you can find by searching the hashtag the Shield. So 2K22 might feature a bunch of awesome legends, but more than Mario, as it's also possible to get another as a bonus. So the bonus legend that we're featuring today is none other than Dude Love, who is yet another modded creation. Now the model itself is the Cactus Jack DLC model, but this creation does feature full motions, full announcer audio, full entrance videos, as well as full commentary, which makes this as close to an official legend as possible. This one can be found by simply searching for Dude Love on Community Creations. Aw, oh, have mercy! <laughs> yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring 
from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love. Here comes the coolest cat in sports entertainment history. You guys remember when Dude Love actually won the tag team titles with Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, and then later sold out to Mr. McMahon and almost defeated Austin for the WWE Championship. Next up, we have got a lesser known three man championship victory scene for the new day. So this one is not new for 2P22, but a returning one still some might not be aware of, especially given that three man title victory scenes are not actually a selectable thing. So given this one isn't selectable, it is instead an automatic motion that you get when the New Day are victorious in a tag team championship match and when you have the third member of the group as manager at ringside. Previously in the series, we have featured a ton of rivalry audio, especially in the last few episodes where we featured rivalry commentary based on DLC superstars. Today, just a little bit more, and this time again featuring DLC names, but this time featuring rivalries you might not be aware of that are featured in this year's game. This includes Jerry Lawler vs The Hurricane, Rikishi vs X-Pac, and The Boogeyman vs The Undertaker. And we know what has had these two heated. Lawler is an avid comics reader and artist and has had nothing but jokes to hurl at the Hurricane's expense. And can you blame him, Cole? King can doodle something on a napkin that resembles a better superhero than the Hurricane does. And coming into this match, the King has gone out of his way to alienate and embarrass the Hurricane. But that could come back to bite him. Yeah, but Hurricane isn't going to let Lawler's words distract him. Hurricane knows that taking out a legend like the King could be exactly what he needs to prove all the naysayers wrong. Well, include me in as a naysayer. Someone should just tell Hurricane that the comic convention is at the arena across town, not here. Truly a David versus Goliath battle here as X-Pac looks to slay the big man, Rikishi. Uh, I think you need to read that story again, Corey. David didn't antagonize Goliath for weeks on end with constant two-on-one attacks. X-Pac has relied on his buddies to get the upper hand in the past, but now Rikishi has X-Pac one-on-one, and he's planning to dance all over David, so to speak. X-Pac and Rikishi, both staples of the Attitude Era with drastically different styles, facing off one-on-one. -on -one. X-Pac spent his entire career proving that he can hang. Tonight, he's dead set on showing that he can tackle any challenge, no matter how big they are, no matter how bad at dancing they are. Hey, you take that last one back, Corey. Promoting look on The Undertaker, who has come to regard the WWE ring as his own domain, where he makes all the rules and decides the fate of his opponents. But we'll have to wait and see if this ring is still his yard by the end of this match tonight. Well, I hope he isn't afraid of worms because he's got to deal with the freaking Boogeyman. Yeah, and if you think his entrance is unsettling, wait till you see him in the ring. Boogeyman is as athletic as he is terrifying. And Corey, he's pretty darn terrifying. So backstage craziness is always awesome. Despite this year's backstage visually looking impressive, there isn't all that much to actually do. Although there are some extreme moments that you might not have considered trying. This includes moves on the setup chairs in this position. Carry moves off the ledges. Carry move combos with the equipment box. and even ledge finishers off the highest level through two tables. So when triggered via payback or naturally taking place, superstar run-ins can make for some awesome moments in 2K22. But what you might not know is that what happens when you put an interference superstar through a table when you're in a tables match. 
Well, the answer to that is when a superstar runs in during a table match and that superstar gets put through a table, that superstar, although not officially in the match, is eliminated from it and therefore ends their interference. Interestingly, it also triggers the end of match ring bell. So by now, it's likely you'll be aware of weapon breakouts via Extreme Rules matches. But what you might not know as an alternative method is that the game actually features entrances involving weapons, which means your superstar can't break out from their entrance and have a weapon ready to use before they've even made it to the ring. Two such entrances include the chair swing in motion, which sees your superstar make their entrance with a steel chair in hand, as well as Hardcore Legend, which has your superstar featuring a kendo stick. To make the most of these moments, break out from the motion when your superstar is on their way to the ring, pick up the weapon which is automatically dropped, then charge the ring with your weapon in hand. And sticking with the breakout theme with the last one today, as we have now got some pre-match breakout cutscenes. Now, as we've seen already, breakouts can be awesome, and despite not being new, the pre-match breakout cutscenes remain an awesome feature in this year's game, with some actually pretty rare to actually see happen. So the game features multiple, which are all triggered by you essentially refusing to start the match after a pre-match brawl, and by not allowing both superstars to enter the ring. So you'll usually get to see this one when you brawl in the area just before the ring itself, which is the most common one. But there is also this one that you can get in other areas around the ring. This one that takes place up near the stage area. as well as this rare one which sees one superstar in the ring with the other outside and refusing to start the match. As always, share me in the comments any suggestions for future episodes in the series. Stay tuned for more like this coming to the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101 and I will see you all on the next one.